Hey guys, Majiro up here, and welcome to the sixth video in our 2D Java game programming series. And today we're actually going to start rendering uh, to our screen. We're going to actually add in our render code. So first thing we're going to do is we need to draw an image. But hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we draw an image, we, we need an image. How do we get an image in the Java? Well, I'm going to go into our engine. I'm actually going to make a new package and this is going to be a sub package in image. I'm going to call it dot gfx. Right, which is going to, it's, our packages start looking weird. I'm actually going to change the hierarchy here. So if you get to a little view menu, then you can go to package presentation and I want hierarchical. It, uh, it looks a lot nicer. So now you have engine game and our gfx class is going to be in here. So we're going to make a new class and I'm going to call it uh, image and this is going to take in our image so what do we need for an image we need a private int width which we'll call it w because uh that's how i like to code you can call it width if you want or height if you want i'm gonna call it width and then we need a private int array p pixels that's our pixel data so we have our width height and pixel and we make a public image string path so I need a path to load in our image, right? So how do we load in an image? Well, that's actually pretty easy. We're gonna make a buffered image, image, and we're gonna set it equal to null. And we need to import that. So for our image, it's just image is equal to image, capital I, IO, both capital. And now we need to just read it in. So we're gonna read it in but we need to get it so how can we get it well we're going to do as an input stream so we're going to do image dot class the name of our class you know image dot class dot get resource as a stream and then that's going to be our path so we're going to put our path there and this is going to complain because this needs to be in a try catch statement so now we got a try catch statement around our code boom and there we go we loaded in an image it's very easy so we're going to say uh, my width, which is w, is equal to image.getWidth. h is equal to image.getHeight. And now our p, we need the pixel data. And to get the pixel data, we're going to set it equal to image.getRGB. We're going to starting x is 0, starting y is 0, the width and height, uh, RGB array, null, offset 0, scan size, our width. Boom. And that's how you get the pixel data. And done. And just for good measure, I'm going to say image.flush. Just to get rid of it. Which it will get rid of it normally because this is a private method, but I might as well just flush the image anyways. And bada bing bada boom, we have it. Now we just need getters and setters. And I'm going to make a source, getters and setters. And I'm just going to straight up generate both getters and setters for this. Because we might want to make a custom image where we set a width and a height and we just set the pixel data so i'm going to leave it like that now we have an image all right now let's actually render uh, the image let's go to here and i'm going to make it down here we'll make a public void draw image all right so what do we need well we need an image so we're going to pass in an image and I'm also going to take in an int off x and an int off y. That's going to be our offset x and our offset y for this. And we need to import it. Make sure you import the one we just made and not the one from AWT. That's important. It won't work if you do that. So we have our image with our offset x and our offset y. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to make a for loop. And it's going to be for int y is equal to zero. Y is less than image dot get height y plus plus. And we're going to do the same thing here for x for int x is equal to zero. X is less than image dot get w x plus plus. Yep. Boom. Now we need to set our pixel data. All right, so we got we're, we're looping through our image and now we need to set it but the problem is is what if we try to set it out of out of bounds right well it'll cause an error because we'll go out of bounds so 
we need to test to make sure that it's not out of bounds. But we're going to be doing a lot of draw methods. So we're going to create a standard method just for setting the pixel value so that we don't have to write it every time. So I'm going to make a public void set pixel. And it's going to take in an int x and an int y and an int value. Okay. So this x and y is our location on our screen. So if so, we're going to do a check. So if x is less than 0 or x is greater than or equal to width, or y is less than zero, or y is greater than equal to height. But it's not height, it's p height, and it's p width. All right, our pixel width and our pixel height. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to return. We don't wanna do anything, we're out of bounds. Don't draw it. There's also gonna be another trick here, is I'm gonna put all of this in parentheses, and then I'm gonna also throw in an or, just cause it looks a little nicer. And it's going to be if our value is equal to 0x, ff, ff, 00, ff. And that's going to be an equals to, not a set. Now, what is that? That is actually a color in our GIMP here. Let's load up GIMP. GIMP, 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 GIMP. So I'm going to load up GIMP here, make an image, and then we're going to draw it. But this color right here is a shade of pink that's really ugly and you shouldn't and you'll probably never use it. So I'm going to be using this shade of pink as our alpha. It's going to be our uh, don't render this color. So that shade of pink here, you pull it up in the color wheel. Can I make this bigger? Not really. <laughs> but that shade of pink is if you go full red and full blue and no green, you get this pink color. It looks really Bad. So we're gonna we're gonna use that as our uh, invisible color. So there we go. And now we know that it's in bounds and it's not invisible. So let's actually set our pixel data. So p at x. So we have a one-dimensional array and we have a two-dimensional number. How do we convert that over? Well, it's very easy. It's x plus y times our uh, width, and that will give us or convert our two-dimensional number to our one-dimensional number and that works perfectly fine so we're going to set that equal to our value and that's that's as easy as it goes now let's actually finish our draw image so we're going to set pixel and i'm going to set it at x y and we're going to add our offset x to my x and offset y to my y then we need the actual value from our image. So I'm going to say image get p and then I'm going to put brackets after it. And we need to do the same thing to get the image. So it's going to be x plus y times image dot get width because we need the images width. And there we go. That will draw an image to our screen at our given location. So let's actually add an image to the game. So what we need to do is go to our project make a new, I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm going to call it res, res, short for resources. So that's going to be our resource folder. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So now we need to add it into our actual project. So I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to go to Java build path, go to libraries, and we're going to add a class folder, and we're going to add res to our class. We're going to hit OK. Hit apply and hit OK. And now you'll see a little uh, thing come up on the res folder. There we go. It's all set to use. Let's go to GIMP. Let's make a new. I'm going to make it 64 by 64. And I'm going to fill it in with a pattern. Uh, I like using the wood pattern. It's just my standard pattern. And let's also test our invisibility color. So let's, uh, let's draw a little smiley face beautiful and then we're just going to export this to our desktop and I'm going to find the area go to res and we're going to export it right here I'm going to call it test.png export and export there we go so now if I go in here and refresh my project you'll see we have our image now I'm going to go to my game manager and we're going to make a 
private image image because I'm very creative with my names and we're gonna say image is equal to new image and I'm gonna give it the path and in order to get the res path I'm gonna say um, it should just be test.png we shouldn't have to not text test it might not work if it doesn't work then I'll add a forward slash or a dot forward slash to it to make it work so we're gonna try and load this in let's just run it real quick to see if it loads in it does not load in input equals null so let's do uh, forward slash res test.png and we'll see if that works does not work it can be a little picky sometimes about how you name your files Let's do that. Right, I'm naming it right. Test.png. Input equals null. That worked. There we go. Okay, so it's just the forward slash. Boom. Now it actually loaded it in. Now let's render it. So I'm going to say r.draw image. And we're going to draw our image. And I'm actually going to draw it at our get input that get mouse x and our mouse y. So we're gonna draw it at our, we're gonna make the image follow our mouse. So, why? I keep missing the keyboard because of the mouse in front of me. That mouse uh, microphone. There we go. So if I run this, boom. Hey, look at this little guy. We got an image on our screen and he moves around. If we can find, I'm not sure how this is showing up in the video, but this moves very smoothly for me and it should for you as well. And you see where we drew our smiley face, it's black because it's not actually rendering the pixels there. Now, if we were to go to our game container real quick, and if you see the uh, clear screen, if we did not clear our screen, we'll get a very interesting effect. We're, now we're playing solitaire. <laughs> so that's, that's why clearing your screen is important. But as you can see the smiley face, you can't see it anymore <laughs> because it's being blotted out by the background image. But yeah, so we now have an image rendered to our screen. That's perfect. All right, I think that's going to do it for this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.